This week on DevKit Weekly, we're going to be reviewing and raffling the Digilent Cora Z7 development board. Digilent's Cora Z707S is a development board leveraging Xilinx Zinc 7000 series programmable SOC, which makes use of ARM's core site architecture with a combination of a single core ARM Cortex A9 processor with a 28 nanometer Xilinx Arctic 7 based FPGA for optimized flexibility. The 667 MHz Zinc processor's 21,000 logic cells and 14,400 LUTs are housed within 3,600 programmable logic slices, 60 digital signal processing slices, and 225 kilobytes of block RAM with an additional 512 megabytes of DDR3 via 16-bit bus. And speaking of controllers, the Zinc includes both high and low bandwidth peripheral controllers from 1 gig Ethernet and USB 2.0 to UART and SPI. The Cora Z7 is programmable through the on-chip JTAG and micro SD card slot. The Cora Z7 also provides multiple options for extending available I.O., including two peripheral module or PMOD connectors to extend total FPGA I.O. availability to 16, an unloaded expansion header for 12 more FPGA digital I.O., and an Arduino chip kit shield connector, which would add an additional 49 FPGA digital I.O. options. The chip kit shield connector would also enable six single-ended 0 to 3.3 volt analog inputs, or eight differential 0 to 1 volt analog inputs to XADC. All these features, connectors, etc., make the programmable Cora Z7 a very flexible development board that can be implemented in a pretty wide range of embedded applications. But there are a couple things this kit in particular will be especially good for. The Zinc 7000 processor on board is often used, according to AMD Xilinx, in applications like ADAS, machine vision, professional cameras, medical endoscopes. Not sure about you, but I think I'm sensing a trend there. Which is perfect, because the Cora Z7 comes with access to AMD Xilinx's Vivado ML SDK designed for synthesis and analysis of hardware description language designs. The latest version of Vivado has introduced new machine learning algorithms like intelligent design runs, ML-based logic optimization, and congestion and delay estimation, all of which can help speed up design closure. The SDK is also delivering an average 10% improvement on quality of results for complex designs with a peak improvement of 50%, over the Vivado HLX edition. Seems like a pretty handy little board, doesn't it? Definitely something useful to have on hand if you're working on machine learning and vision projects that require lots of flexibility and efficiency. Now, I do have good news and bad news, and as a firm believer in the bad news first mentality, I must warn you that Digilent's Cora Z7 development board is, as of now, out of stock on major distributor websites and Digilent itself until at least August of this year. If you have the patience of a saint, unlike me, and don't mind waiting until then to get your hands on one, it'll only cost you $149. But if you want one of these right now, or in a couple weeks because shipping and stuff, you can always enter this week's raffle linked on screen now and in the description below for a chance to win this one right here for free. That's it for today. So as always, thank you for watching. Good luck in the raffle, and we'll see you in the next episode of DevKit Weekly. For more content from embedded computing design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.